Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Me body, it's all black and blue, me face a deadly gray. And I write this note to say why Patty's not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. And to throw them down from such a height, was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod. He said I ought to cart him down the ladder in me hard. Well, clearing all these bricks this way, it seems so dreadful slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> so when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket till to my surprise I found. Halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. <laughs> the barrel broke my shoulder as to the ground it sped. And when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with me head. I hung on tight, though numb with shock, from this almighty blow. And the barrel spilled out half the bricks, 14 floors below. Now when the bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, my body racked with pain. When halfway down, I met the bloody barrel once again. <laughs> the force of this collision halfway down the office block produced multiple contusions and a nasty case of shock. Clinging tightly to the rope, I headed towards the ground and landed among the broken bricks that were all scattered round. As I lay there moaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. But the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. A shower of bricks came raining down. I haven't got a hope. And as I lay there moaning on the ground, I let go the bloody rope. And the barrel being heavier, it started down once more. And it landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm. And I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today. <laughs> He's well met by a peddler, Druth, and a chance to retire to the inn. He's called for ale and taken up a pipe and carelessly slipped to the tune. For the dancers have taken to the floor And they neither wanted a pipe nor a glass Nor a lass when the music was o'er They played up through markets and fairs Till at length to the north they come And there they met Black Janet the widow Who sang as she rattled her drum Asked Black Janet to dance, you ne'er seen so bonny a pair. She's taken him firm by the hand and tripped to the top of the stair. 
Here, she said, is a fine feather bed where a man, being weary or drear, may step for me a gay Strathsby with me lilt in the tune in his ear. Janet has been as good as her word. Lindsay has proven his worth. May you all have so merrily a dance if ever you come to the north. <laughs>